following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 7th Canto, 9th Chapter, Text Number 9, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on March 1st, 1977, in Mayapur, India. Mane Dhalabi Janarupa Tapas Tuta Uja Nobody can captivate Krishna by all these material possessions. These are material possessions, uh, money, then uh, manpower, beauty, education, hostility, mystic power, and so on, so on. There are so many things. They are not capable of approaching the Supreme Personality of God. Uh, Krishna personally says, Bhaktyavamu Vamijana Ti. He doesn't say all these material positions, that if one is very rich man, he can have my favor. No. Uh, Krishna is not a poor man like me, that if somebody gives me some money, I become benefited. He is self-sufficient. Atmara. So there is no need of any help from anyone else. He is fully satisfied. Atmara. Uh, only bhakti, love, that is required. Uh, bhakti means to serve Krishna. That is without any purpose, ahoy to ki apratihata, that bhakti, anarayad, annavilasita sunnam, jnana karma dhanamritam. Uh, <coughs> everywhere, this is the statement of this hastra, that bhakti should be anarayad, annavilasita sunnam, Jnana karma dan abritam anukulle na krishna nu silanam bhakti uttam sarvapadi binin muktam tat parate na nirmalam rishike na rishike sa sevanam bhakti uttam. There are so many other definitions. Uh, and if we have bhakti, love for Krishna, then we don't require huge amount of money or strength or education or austerity, nothing of this. Uh, Krishna says, Patram Bhushvam Phalam Toyam Yumi Bhaktya Bhajatthati. He doesn't require anything from us, but He wants everyone that because he is part and parcel of Krishna, he wants to see that everyone is obedient to him, everyone loves him, that is his aspiration. Uh, just like the father is a very rich man, he doesn't require any help from his son, but he aspires that, that his son should be obedient and love her, that is his satisfaction. Uh, that is the whole situation. Uh, Krishna has created Eka Bahushyama. We are 
विभिन्न अंश नवैव अंश जीवभूत पार्ट एंड पार्ट से ऑफ कृष्णा एवरी वन ऑफ अर्स एवरी वन हैज गॉट सम ड्यूटी कृष्णा इज क्रिएटेड आज एक्सपेक्टिंग समथिंग टू बी डन बाई आज फॉर सेटिस्फैक्शन ऑफ कृष्णा दैट इज भक्ति so that our opportunity is obtained in this human form of life <clears throat> we should not waste our valuable time in any other occupation or business simply enquire and be ready how to serve krishna anukulena krishna anukul Not your satisfaction, but Krishna's satisfaction. That is called anukul, favorable. Anukulle na Krishna nu silanam. An anusilanam means activity. Not that in trance I am in meditation. That is also something is better than nothing. But real devotional service. Uh, is activity. One must be active, uh, and the best activity is to preach the glory of the supreme personality of God. That is the best activity. Na cha ta smart manushe shu ko stit me priya sitam. So our this movement is based on practical activity. Uh, Whatever talent you have got, whatever little strength you have got, education you have got, you haven't got to learn anything. Whatever you have got, uh, in whatever position you are, you can serve Krishna. Uh, uh, not that you have to learn something first and then you can serve. No, the service itself is learning. Uh, the more you try to render service, the more you become advanced. How to become experienced servant? Uh, we don't require any extra intelligence. Uh, otherwise, the example is Galadhu Thapayo, the elephant, the king of the elephant. He is satisfied. He is an animal. He is not a Brahmin. He is not a Vedanti. Uh, may be very big fatty animal but <laughs> after all his animal uh, oh onuan was animal there are many such thing uh, jatayu was a bird so how they satisfied uh, the jatayu fought with ravan yesterday you saw ravan was kidnapping Sita Devi and Jatayu, the bird, he was going flying. Ravan knew how to fly without machine. Uh, he was very, very materially powerful. So the Jatayu attacked him on the sky. Who are you? You are taking my machine. I shall fly. So Ravan was very powerful. He was defeated. The time, but he fought. That is his service. Uh, never mind defeated. Similarly, uh, we have to fight those who are opposing Krishna consciousness movement. We have to fight with them to our best capacity. Never mind if we are defeated. That is also service. Krishna sees the service. Uh, Defeated, victorious, depend on Krishna, uh, but fighting must be there. Karman ne badi kara se ma phale isu kadas. That is the meaning. You have to work for Krishna sincerely, intelligently, and victory or defeat it doesn't matter. Uh, just like Jatayu was defeated. Fighting with Ravana, 
his wings were cut off. Ravan was very strong. Lord uh, Ramchandra, uh, he, he did his last funeral ceremonies uh, because he was a devotee. This is the process. Uh, not that uh, we have to uh, um, learn something extra. Whatever capacity we have got, let us uh, decide to render service to the Lord. Uh, it doesn't require that you must be very rich or very beautiful, very bodily strong. Mm, nothing of this. Sabai pungsang paro dharma jato bhakti radhukkhaji ohi tuki apprati hata. In any condition, your devotional service should not be stopped. Uh, that should be the principle. Uh, we are not going to stop. Uh, any circumstance. And Krishna is prepared even to accept a little flower, little water, patram pusram phalam toyam. He doesn't say, give me uh, very luxurious and palatable dishes, then I, he will be satisfied. No. The real necessity is bhakti. Patram pusram phalam toyam jomi bhaktya prajachya. This is realness, bhaktya. Uh, bhaktya mama vijana, javana just. Uh, <coughs> Therefore, we have to develop our bhakti, love for Krishna. Uh, Prima pumatha maha, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has advised. Uh, people are after dharmatha kam moksha. Uh, but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, no, even if you become liberated moksha, that is not the qualification to get favor of Krishna. Prema apumātumā, pancham purusāt. People are trying to be very religious. That is good. Uh, then economic, dharma artha. Artha means economically very rich, opulent, then karma, uh, very expert in sense enjoyment, and then mukti, this is general demand. But Bhagavad says, no, these things are not qualification. Dharma prudhita kaita vatra, uh, Siddhar Swami has said that mukti is also another cheating. Uh, why mukti? Uh, Krishna does not demand that unless you are mukta, liberated, you cannot serve. No. You can serve in any condition. Not that because first of all we have to become liberated. Uh, because as soon as you begin bhakti, you are already liberated. Uh, the platform is so great that a bhakta without any uh, other ultra motive he is already liberated. Uh, Brahma Bhuyaya Sakalpur. Mahachabya Vicharini Bhakti Yogina Jasivati Sakunara Samatita Yetana Brahma Bhuyaya Kalpati. Immediately. Uh, Sarva Dharman Paritajya Namikang Saranangaja. Ahangtva Sarva Papri Bhamakhaisya. If Krishna takes charge of vanquishing all your reaction of sinful life, then that means immediately you are mukta, you are liberated. Liberation means we are uh, entangled in this material world because we are creating one after another entanglement. Nūnaṁ pramatta kuruti vikarma, because we are in such a position that we have to act obviously, uh, not properly. Even if you do not deserve, uh, even if you are very careful not to kill even an ant, still unperceptively, imperceptively, you 
while walking you kill so many ants and don't think that you are not sinful for that purpose uh, you become sinful especially those who are non devotees they must be responsible for killing so many uh, small creatures while walking or while there is water pot you have seen so many small animals are there uh, even by moving the water pot you kill so many uh, living entities while igniting fire in the oven there are so many living entities you kill them so consciously and consciously we are in a such a position in this material world that we have to commit sinful activities even if we are very very careful you uh, <clears throat> have seen the jains they uh, they are after non violence we will find they keep a crop like this so that the small insects may not enter the mouth but these are artificial you cannot check in the air there are so many living entities in the water there are so many living entities we drink water you cannot check it <coughs> it is not possible uh, but if you keep yourself fixed up in devotional service then uh, uh, you are not bound uh, jagnate kanmanna true do koyon karma bandha if your life is dedicated for jagga for serving krishna then the inevitable sinful activities which we commit without any knowledge we are not responsible man nimitte kitang paapam punna eva kalpate so our life should be dedicated simply for krishna consciousness then we are said uh, otherwise we must be entangled uh, with so many reaction of our activities and bound up uh, in the <coughs> uh, repetition of birth birth and death mang aprapya nivartanti mittu samsara vat nunam pramatta kurushe vikarma jadindriya prithaye aprinoti न साधु मन्ने जतो आत्मनो यं असन्न पी क्लेश दे आस दे द सेफेस्ट पोजीशन ई लेट अस ऑलवेज बी एंगेज इन कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस देन वी मेक स्पिरिचुअली एडवांस एंड सेव फ्रॉम द रिएक्शन ऑफ सिंपल लाइफ द प्रलाद महाराज थॉट इट दैट और दो Uh, he was born in a family, a Sura family, uh, Ugra, uh, Ugra Jato. Still, if he decides to serve Krishna, Lord Vishnu, uh, uh, with bhakti, following the footprints of Gajajuthapaya, the king of elephant, he was animal. You know the story that. He was attacked by crocodile in the water, so there was struggle for existence between the two. And after all, the crocodile is the animal in the water. He had great strength, and the elephant, although he is also very big, powerful animal, but he was not a animal of the water. So he was very helpless. So at last he began to chant the holy name of the Lord and pray. So he was saved. Uh, he was saved, and because the crocodile caught up the leg of the elephant, he was also saved because he was Vishnuva. And this animal, uh, crocodile, he was under the feet. Of a Vaishnava, so he was also saved. Uh, this is the story you know. Uh, so therefore, Sariya uh, Vaishnava Seva, he indirectly gave service to the Vaishnava. 
Hari also become delivered. <coughs> so, bhakti is so nice thing <coughs> that very easily you can get favor of the Supreme Person. And if Krishna is pleased upon you, then what remains? Everything you get. Uh, everything you get. Just mean vigyāta, sarva vedam vigyāta bhavan. Easiest way to please Krishna, you don't require much money, much education, and nothing of this heart. Simply you require your heart. Uh, 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 Krishna, you are my uh, Lord, you are my master. Eternally, I am your servant. Eternally, uh, let me be engaged in your service. That is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. This is the meaning of Hare Krishna mantra. O Krishna, O energy of Krishna, uh, I am your servant. Somehow or other, I have now fallen in this material condition. Kindly pick me up and engage me in service. Potitam king karana mahamu bhi sami bhavam budhau. That is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's teaching us. Bhavam budhau. This material world is just like a great ocean. Bhava. Bhava means repetition of birth and death. And ambu means, uh, ambu dhau means the sea, in the ocean. So we are struggling hard for existence in this ocean. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Ayi Nanda Tanuja, Patitam King Karangama, I am your servant, Itana. Somehow or other, I have fallen in this ocean and struggling. Uh, uh, pick me up. Ayi Nanda Tanuja, Patitam King Karangama, I be Sami Bhavam, Kripaya, by your causeless mercy. Uh, uh, this is Bhakti Marga, devotional service, to become very humble, me, always pray to Krishna, kindly uh, consider me as one of the particle of the dust of the lotus feet of the Lord Sea. Uh, this very simple thing, Manmana, in this way, think of Krishna, uh, become his devotee, offer obeisances, and whatever patram, puspam, little power, water you can provide, offer to Krishna, uh, in this way, live very peacefully and be happy. Thank you very much. Yeah.